and Julia Sondu, showing you where development is happening. Please come and join us. France deploying forces, war equipment in preparation to invade Niger, says Junta. The Niger military administration has accused France of building up forces and war equipment in several neighboring West African countries in preparation for an aggression. The Niger military administration has accused France of building up forces and war equipment in several neighboring West African countries in preparation for an aggression against the country. Relations with France, Niger's former colonial power, soured after Paris stood by ousted President Mohamed Bazoum following the July coup. In a statement broadcast on national television late Saturday, Purchased spokesman Colonel Major Amadou Abdraman said, France continues to deploy its forces in several ECOWAS countries as part of preparations for an aggression against Niger, which it is planning in collaboration with this community organization. Abdraman added that France had deployed military aircraft, helicopters and 40 armored vehicles to Côte d'Ivoire and Benin. Military cargo aircraft have enabled large quantities of war material and equipment to be unloaded in Senegal, Côte d'Ivoire and Benin, to name but a few, he said. Niger is also embroiled in a standoff with the West African bloc ECOWAS, which has threatened to intervene militarily if diplomatic pressure to return Bazoum to office fails. However, the regional bloc has said it does not want Niger to repeat the experiences of Mali, Guinea and Burkina, with which it had to haggle over the durations and conditions of transition periods. On August 3, the coup leaders renounced several military cooperation agreements with France, which has about 1,500 soldiers stationed in the country as part of a wider fight against militants. They maintained that France's forces are now, illegally, stationed in Niger. Paris, which refuses to recognize the military regime in Niger, does not consider the mutinous soldiers who ousted President Bazoum as party to those cooperation deals. France is engaged in a tug of war with Niger, which has also withdrawn the diplomatic immunity of French ambassador Sylvain It and ordered police to expel him. France has refused the demand on several occasions, saying the military regime has no legal right to make such an order. Africa, the next battleground. Attempts are being made by the West to destabilize Africa's regimes that are perceived pro-Russia and China, especially in view of BRICS expansion and the fast-changing dynamics of Africa. French President Emmanuel Macron has expressed concerns about the expansion of BRICS, highlighting the risk of fragmentation of the world that needs to be avoided. Fragmentation of states has led to numerous countries choosing to unite in a union over which the West has no control. Not only is there no control, but there is also no effective influence. Macron said, BRICS expansion runs the risk of weakening the West and Europe in particular and turning the tides in their favor. The global financial situation is getting tougher as BRICS countries become more complex to trade with. By using local currencies for trade settlement, the West predominant international order is being challenged. Concurrent to the above is the awakening in Africa against the West, the recent military coups in Niger and Gabon adding to the signals. It is well known that resources in Africa are exploited by private companies, owned by French, American and British billionaires and politicians who lead these countries. French colonization of Africa is diminishing but not over. French troops are deployed to guard mines in Africa and African nations get a pittance against the minerals sold by the big corporate. The US and the West attribute the increase in Russian and Chinese influence in the global South to the changing dynamics in Africa. France is not clear how Africans in the future will react to France's continued stay in French colonies in Africa. The effect of this is a loss of guaranteed supply of minerals including gold. Niger has increased the price of uranium, more than what was mandated by the French after the military coup, and these prices are likely to rise further. 
The West wants the Economic Community of West African States e to take military action against Niger. Now there is news that the European Union EU, is set to launch a new mission in West Africa. A mission in the Gulf of Guinea, with police and soldiers deployed to Ghana, Togo, Benin and Ivory Coast, according to the German paper Welt am Sonntag published every Sunday. The stated aim of the combined military-civilian operation reportedly is to prevent instability triggered by jihadi groups, to train and advise local security forces, help prepare for anti-terror operations, provide technical support and implement confidence-building measures in the security sector. Formal approval of the mission is to be taken in October during the EU foreign ministers meeting in Luxembourg. The reason for the mission is being given as the EU's concern that Islamist groups, Islamic State and Al-Qaeda, could extend their activities in West Africa from the Sahel zone toward the southern coastal countries on the Gulf of Guinea, leading to even more widespread instability in the region. But the actual reason probably is to counter growing Russian and Chinese influence in Africa, Mali having kicked out French and German forces, Niger asking French forces to leave the country, military coup in Gabon after the military took power in Mali, Burkina Faso and Niger. This EU mission would be backed by NATO. It needs no intelligence to decipher why the sudden assessment that the IS and Al-Qaeda could extend their activities in West Africa, both these terrorist organizations being the foster children of the CIA. Not only has the US used these organizations in Iraq, Syria, even airdropped weapons for them, but also used them in West Asia and in Afghanistan in concert with Pakistan to advance American national interests. The obvious attempt now is to launch sub-conventional operations in Africa and destabilize regimes that are perceived as pro-Russia and China. In fact, there is speculation that the fire in the federally owned building in Johannesburg that 74 and injured more than 50 within a week of the BRICS summit was engineered by the West, displeasure expressed over the expansion of the organization. Apparently, Africa is earmarked as the next battleground. This is the end of our program today. See you on Intervlog same time tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.